again and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's tutorial is for a very simple baby shoe, um, a little booty and the size that I'm going to make would fit um, up to about three months. If you want a smaller size booty you can go down a hook size. If you wanted a slightly bigger booty you could always go up a hook size. I'm using a double knit yarn in lemon and a five millimeter hook for this tutorial. Just zoom out slightly. Right, we're going to start with a chain of nine. So make a starting slip knot onto the hook however you want to do that, however you find it easier to make the slip knot and then we're going to chain nine. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And we're going to work up and down each side of this chain um, to form the sole of the boot. I'm just going to make this tutorial using one colour, but you can use two colours as I've done on this one here um, if you just wanted a little bit of a contrast. So into <clears throat> excuse me, the third chain from the hook, which is one, two, three, we're going to work two half doubles. And a half double is yarn over into the chain just going into one loop of the chain here as you can see there pick up a loop yarn over and pull through all three so there's the first one yarn over into the loop again pick up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops so we've got the two chain as we went into the third that counts as the first half double and then we've got a further two half doubles into that same chain. We're now going to work one half double into each of the next five chains here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to into the chain, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through, all three there's one two three four and five we're now at the last chain so we've got the three half doubles into the first chain here which was the third from the hook we've done one two three four five we're now going to work six half doubles into the last chain so we've got one two as you can see, I'm trying to catch the tail of the yarn as I'm working as well, so that we've not got it to, to work in. Just pull the curtain slightly so that you can see the work better there. So I've done two. There's three. Four. five and six so we've now got the the top formed of the sole we're now going to work a half double into the five chains that we worked the half doubles on the other side of the chain so there's the first one you can see you've got a loop there opposite where you did the half double so we've got one 
two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to work three half doubles into the same space as we did the chain and the two half doubles. So we've got one, two, and three. So where we had the six half doubles at this side, we've now got six half doubles here at the other side. So we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the two chain. So that's the start of the sole ready. And you can see we've got a definite oval there. So the next row, we're going to work three chain. This is going to count as the first stitch. So the three chain there counts as the first double. We're going to, into that same stitch, work a double crochet. So we've got two stitches into one, like so. We're now going to work two doubles into each of the next two stitches. So the next stitch is this one here. We work one double and two doubles. We're going to do the same again into the next stitch. So we've got, oops. So there we've got one double. and two doubles. So we've now worked two stitches into these first three stitches and we've now got the five half doubles that we did from the previous row. We're going to do one double in each one of those stitches. So there's the first one. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. So we've done two stitches in each of the first three stitches and then one stitch in each of the next five. We're now going to work two doubles into each of the next six stitches which are these six that were worked into that same stitch there. So there we've got one and two, that's the first. Two stitches into the next, that's two. three, two stitches into the next one is four, two stitches into the next one is five, and two stitches into the next one is six. So the work will look like this. We're now going to work again one double into each of the next five on the straight part of the sole. There's one and two, three, four and five and that just leaves us now with three stitches 
and we're going to work two doubles into each of these next three so that we'll have the three sets of two again. So one and two once, one and two twice, one and two, there's the third set of two. So we're now going to join into the top of the third chain of the starting stitch with a slip stitch and that gives us the sole of the boot. We're now going to work into the back loop only of the next stitches and that's going to form this little ridge here so that we can see a definite difference between the sole and the body of the boot. So we're going to half double into each stitch but the first stitch as always is going to be just chains. So the first stitch is just two chain and we're going to work a half double into each stitch all the way around. So the the back loop, I'll just show that close up, we've got the front loop here and the back loop here, we're going to work just into that back loop. So into the back loop, pick up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and through all three. So that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 and with the two chains that we did as the starting stitch we've got 34 stitches all together we're going to join with a slip stitch into that second chain to join so you can see now that we've got a little ridge here that separates the sole from the body of the shoe if you need to pause the video until you've caught up you can do so now and then restart as you've done your joining slip stitch to the first two chain. We're going to chain two and again that's going to count as the first half double and we're working back into both loops again on these stitches. And we're going to work one half double into each of the next eight stitches. So we've got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're now going to do eight half double two together. So to do eight half double two together, we're working over the next 16 stitches. And we, we start that by yarn over, we go into the next stitch and pick up a loop. We go into the next stitch and pick up a loop. We've now got four loops on the hook we yarn over and pull through all four. We're going to do that another eight times. So yarn over, pick up a loop into the next stitch, pick up a loop. We've got four on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four. That's two. Yarn over, pick up a loop from the next two stitches yarn over, pull through all four, that's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and the last one yarn over into the next stitch pick up a loop into the next stitch pick up a loop yarn over and through all four so we've now got eight half double two together we're now going to half double in each of the next nine stitches so one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Again, if you need to just pause the video to catch up, you can see now that we've got the foot part forming of the shoe. When you've done the nine half doubles again we're going to just join with a slip stitch into the two chain that we started the row with. So the next row we're going to again chain two as always, that's going to count as the first stitch and we're going to work eight half doubles in one in each of the next eight stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and again that's the straight part of the shoe. We're now going to work four two double crochet together. So to double crochet two together we yarn over into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over two but we don't yarn over and two again we leave these two loops on the hook yarn over into the next stitch pick up a loop yarn over and pull through two that leaves three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three so we've double crocheted two together we need to do that another three times so that we've got four all together so yarn over into the next stitch, pick up a loop through two. 
yarn over into the next stitch pick up a loop through two three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three so there we've done two we need to do another two so yarn over into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over through two yarn over into the next stitch pick up a loop yarn over through two and then yarn over and through all three loops we need to do that one more time yarn over into the next stitch pick up a loop yarn over through two yarn over into the next stitch pick up a loop yarn over through two and then yarn over and pull through all three so we've got four double crochet two together we're now going to work nine half doubles don't forget we've done doubles here but we're going back to the half doubles and there'll be nine stitches left we're just going to do one half double into each of those nine stitches one two three four five six seven eight and nine and as always we're going to join into the second chain of the starting stitch with a slip stitch so we've now completed the foot of the little boot so the next rows now are going to be to form the actual cuff of the boot as you can see there so the first row we're just going to chain one and into the same stitch we're going to work a single crochet and a single crochet is just into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over and through both loops we're just going to go all the way around now working one single crochet into each stitch and it's a nice easy row this one and you've got the option of if you wanted just a small slipper type shoe you could actually finish at this row and leave it as a, a small shoe but I do prefer to have a little bit of a cuff on a baby booty so we're just working one single crochet all the way around and then we're going to join with a slip stitch into the first chain that we did to start the row we're now going to work a half double into each stitch so again we're going to chain two to start and then working a half double into each stitch all the way around so just carry on working one half double in each stitch all the way around and I'll meet you when we get to the end of this row as you come round to the last stitch again we're going to just join with a slip stitch into that first stitch so we now need to do another four rows of half double crochets we just start each one exactly the same two chain to start and then a half double into each stitch join with a slip stitch to the last uh, to, sorry to the first two chain that we start with so I'll see you when you've done your further four rows of half doubles so now we've joined our last row with a slip stitch into the two chains we're going to pull the yarn through 
and fasten off and we've now got the baby boot and then we just fold over the cuff down to form the little booty. I usually catch the yarn here just onto the back so that the cuff stays folded over and there we have the baby booty. I do hope you've enjoyed this channel. Please subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.